Hey, what's up? It's Jim with Reverb.com. We're back at Lincoln Hall. I'm here with Tim, the Strand of Oaks. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. It's good to be here, man. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we were just uh, checking out Soundcheck. Everything sounded awesome. I always like to start at the beginning of the signal chain. Let's hear the story behind this telly. Th this is my 30th birthday present from my wife. Mm -hmm. It's not a fancy telly, but there's something... I don't know if they messed up in the factory because it's so hot. It runs like the pickups. I don't know if they wound them differently, but this guitar, man, I have thrown, destroyed. That's Dublin. That's, you know, just like <laughs> every night I open my case the next one. I go like, I hope it works again. <laughs> yeah, right. But it has just gone through the ringer, and you just kind of find what you love. And if I get another guitar, I'm just going to get another black top telly. Like, yeah. It's nice to see guitars that l look like they've been I used. I mean, you all know? the frets, I need to refret it. I need to do so many things to it. But, but it still I just, sounds great yeah, at the end of the day, right? It, and I love to know that like, I can feel where my fingers go on a lot of songs. And it's like a comfortable, yeah. it's a comfortable path for my fingers to follow. But so, and, and before the show, we were, we were rapping about your jazz chorus, <laughs> your 120. Uh, which I was really excited because it's like one of those workhorse amps. You can really find them is. for next to nothing. I mean, five, six hundred bucks sometimes. Yep. It's just a awesome for, for the money. 150, 150, 150 I bucks. I bought that for $150 and I played that thing for probably a thousand shows. Yeah. And it, it doesn't have a ground on it. So I've killed myself almost. <laughs> yeah. I, so it's like, and then all of a dude, sudden, this twin reverb how shows up. How amazing is that? I'm lucky enough to work with Fender, and they got behind me. And like, I've always been fascinated by twins. And lo and behold, it's not for the camera or the cinema. <laughs> yeah. Show up today, and I've got a new Fender twin reverb, man. I just, I've never, and I was telling you earlier, I've, I've never owned something this nice before. Yeah. Like, is, I'm scared great. to death because yeah. it's so nice. Like, <laughs> You know, and you mentioned your journey. I, you know, when I was when I was reading up on this tour and kind of you know where you've been, you know, I heard about this house fire that happened, and I just have to ask: Was anything lost? Was any gear lost oh, in that? Like uh, life. Oh, from I started buying vintage synthesizers when I was 15 for cheap because nobody wanted them in the 90s, and mm -hmm. they just melted on top of one another. Oh. And the worst thing I lost was every tape I'd made. I recorded tapes and four track little tiny Fisher Price things, and I was nine and ten my first songs and all my cassette tapes melted so i have no i have no and it's probably they weren't good songs sure and they they would probably be horrifying to listen to but the fact that history was just kind of like and the stuff that i'm hearing now that's coming out of you now and coming off the stage just in sound check just of the, the songs that i've heard you know it is like you get, you're kind of rewriting your history in yep. a way, which is exactly. really inspiring and And awesome. that's what this record, that's what I loved about this record, because it allowed me to push the reset button. Yeah. And like, just like, I'm going to make a record that I want to make. I'm 32 and I feel like I'm, you know, 18. Again. It's not as bad as it seems. You were originally talking, you kind of downplayed your board. I'm looking at this. This is like, I mean, some of my dream pedals, like <laughs> the ones that, like when I had a big board, I, I really wanted on there. I see a lot of Earthquaker devices. Why don't you just kind of walk me through kind of where, where each of these are from? First off, Earthquaker is very, very special to my heart because I record my records in Akron. Mm -hmm. And um, my co-producer is one of Earthquaker's main engineers, Ben Vahorn. Awesome. And um, Jamie over there and Julie, they're kind of the founders of Earthquaker. They are like my family. Oh, and I have a lot of their pedals and I kind of swap through a bunch to try and figure out what works. And this is just kind of where it landed before this, you know, heel tour. Mm -hmm. I go straight from my tuner into the hoof and the hoof is like my um, creamy lead. I use that for, it's got a beautiful sustain. It's and almost like, it's almost like a muff, and well, that's what which I'm, is what it's sitting right next to. You know, I just, I use the muff for the big, <laughs> the brutals mm -hmm. you know like total like s as much sustain and and then and i tell uh julian jamie the earthquaker all the time my favorite pedal of theirs is the simplest the speaker cranker so i'm not trying to be a salesman but every electric guitarist needs to own this because it's just the most beautiful pedal it's a it's like a colorful boost yeah but it's not a fuzz and it basically is just a character builder yeah and i don't turn it off yeah. it's on the whole time yeah and yeah. I don't want to turn it off. So next is we're going to take a break from the Earthquaker devices for a second. We're okay. Going to small sound, big sound, which is one of my favorite oh. pedal or pedal builders. We just did a feature with Symbols Eat Guitars. Yep. Um, amazing pedals. This is the this is the mini. This is the mini, and Brian Brian and I uh, met 
and we were just talking and I, I actually followed him just I loved his pedals I love the fact that he called it a pedal fuck overdrive yeah I mean that's essentially been allowed it is the most ferocious pedal yeah. you can play and it's it's in that and I use this for yeah my biggest my boldest like and but I can still play rhythm yeah I can still kind of crunch it out cleans up nice when you yeah. kind of roll back the volume if you guys don't know there's a there's a disaster transport junior and then a disaster transport <laughs> senior and he has both the junior and the senior on the board so, board, so there are three different de disaster yeah, transports three on delay it. stages <laughs> and um, the thing why I love about earthquakers and pedals is I don't want to be the guy that you see my ass crack because I'm bending over during a show. <laughs> sure. Like Johnny Greenwood can do it. He's the only one that I want to right. see his ass crack like <laughs> over right. and messes with his, you know, memory man or whatever. Like yeah. I don't, I can't, I'm not skinny enough or cool enough and have a good enough back <laughs> yeah, mid show sure. to be like, <laughs> functionality is key. I yeah. can't not, it has to be functional. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I have the three stages. So like basically I hit that one, but then on a lot of solos, I actually double the delay. So, and I have the Zaster yep. Senior, it has two stages. And when it, this is on, I have my uh, second delay then, the longest delay possible. And mm -hmm. that's more wet. Yeah. So then I get kind of a double back. Awesome. Ba bounced around. So the third stage is just uh, a beautiful slap back. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the, it's a functional board. I love it. It needs, it's desperate in need of attention and touch up. Because it could all go wrong at any minute. Yeah, right. Well, it's an amazing board. It's a sweet guitar. And congratulations Thanks, on the man. Twin Reverb. And congratulations yeah. on all this stuff. Um, if you haven't checked out the record, you need to. It's a great record. It's called Heal. Strandabooks.net. Check it out. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more information on our blog for you to check out. Tim, thanks so much for talking this with us, awesome, man. This was awesome, man. See you. Have Thank a good you. show, man. We'll see you around. Cheers, man. Cool. Cheers.